Watch up, just a quick video today on engineer's squares. You buy them, you think they're accurate, you get them out of the box, and they're not always as accurate as you may think. Now, if you bought something like a bandsaw, now I've got a 120mm engineer square here, it's a little bit too small, just bought a bandsaw, it's got 120, no, and this is 150, 120mm lift. This is a 100mm one I bought yesterday, uh, but before I checked it on a bandsaw, I just checked it for square and it's out. So let me show you how to check whether or not your engineer's square is straight out of the box are square or not, or whether they need thrown in the bin. First thing you do, get yourself a straight edge. Now, a bit of wood is ideal. Obviously, these two corners have been cut. Uh, the long edges have been cut. This short edge has been cut. This is straight out of the factory, and I put a straight edge on it, and it's pretty good. Let me show you how to tell whether or not an edge is straight or not. You look up to a light, you get your bit of timber, you get something that you know is straight, like a uh, like a metal ruler like this. You put the metal ruler on the edge of your board, and if you look there, if you can see light coming through, you know that's not straight. That's that one edge. The second edge is there, and if you look, you can see a little bit of light coming through. Not a lot, but it's a little bit. This is a cut edge, and you can see there. There's a bit of light coming through. That's not square. But the fourth edge, which was factory fitted the way the board came, if you look there, that's hardly any light coming through there at all. So I'm happy to use this as a square edge. It's not ideal, but it's good enough to let me know whether something's square or not. Okay, once you've found your board with a square edge, get yourself a pencil, like a carpenter's pencil is no good. Get yourself a square edge on your board. I know this is pretty square. Get your engineer's square, push it up to the board. Yeah, and mark yourself a line down there. Turn your square over, find the exact mark there. Mark yourself a line there. It's hard to see on the smaller ones, but if you look there, there's not much deviation. This bit at the bottom may be a little bit thicker, but not much. This is the one I bought yesterday. Push that up to the board here. Mark a, a line coming down there, flip it over, mark a line coming down there, and you can see it's, it's, it's together at the bottom, but it's out by a mill at the top, and that's, you know, that might not seem a lot, but if you square that up, that's going to be well out at the top. So, that's how to tell if your squares are together or not. Another way to test if you've got two levels is to find something flat. This is a piece of granite that I use for um, flattening the soles of planes, etc. This isn't level, it's sloping down because it's on my uh, Halloween head, but it's, it's flat. So I know that if I put these two together and put the bases together, you can see, take you in, that they're together at the base, but there's a gap at the top. And that just confirms what I was saying before about the, the squares being out when I drew the lines on the board. So the moral of the story is, don't trust new tools. You know, always check them, if, don't just assume just because you bought everything they're going to be fine. Now this was in a plastic um, container, it was half contained, it wasn't like it was in a wooden box or something. It could have quite easily been dropped and then it knocked it out of sync. But this, it was only about eight quid, so now I've got to decide is it worth my time to take it back to tool station to change it to get another one that may be the same or just throw it in the bin being as i want to unbox my um my bandsaw today i think i do need to go back and get another one but i'm going to be checking it on site before i walk away this time okay thanks for watching don't don't forget to subscribe hit the like uh to give us a thumbs up and press the bell icon that lets you know of new videos when they come out and i'll see you soon see ya